Hello and welcome to Car Solutions online store. In this video, I would like to talk about new cable products that have appeared in our stock and, more specifically, about cables that allow to activate and connect additional video sources in Toyota cars. There is also going to be an extended line for Subaru and other cars. You can find it in the description. So, what exactly are those cables? In general, it's a product like this, which allows you to connect plug and plug without damaging OEM wiring. After connecting the cable, you will receive additional functionality. A new AV icon will appear on the monitor, though it may have different names in other monitors. Also, sound from an additional source will be connected to the OEM audio system. In this video, I will demonstrate how to connect these cables to various monitors. For this, we have chosen a small collection of monitors from different series. Toyota Touch 1 series, Toyota Touch 2 series, these two monitors right here, and one monitor Toyota Intune Audio. These monitors can be installed in American-made cars and, in some cases, in Asian cars. I would also like to point out that some of these monitors will have OEM navigation systems connected to them. One monitor from Toyota Touch 1 series and one monitor from Toyota Touch 2 series. This will be done on purpose, to show the user that the main menu can change if the OEM navigation system is connected. Make sure that the user is prepared if this happens. So let's try connecting everything and see the result. As I have described before, we have a cable like this. It has a yellow RCA for video and red and white ones make an audio input. Also, there is an SPD or speed cable that can be separated right here. This wire is basically a switch, enabling the video to play while the car is in motion, also called a video in motion. It can be disconnected right here, and it has insulated ends, which means you can leave it disconnected without any worry of a short. You should determine before installation if it's necessary to link or unlink it. You can also connect it to a switch, so that the driver can turn this function on or off. This is all up to the installer and whether the client wants to have this video function while the car is moving or not. Everything depends on the customer's wishes. So, we have a cable like this. As I have mentioned before, it's a plug-and-plug connected. There is a 28-pin connector on one side and a 28-pin socket on the opposite side. The same standard 28-pin connector should be unplugged from the monitor and later on the connector that is unplugged from the monitor is plugged right here. This way, the user is not losing any functionality, but new functions are added. In the next case, we have an OEM Toyota RAV4 monitor. I would like to mention that in the first case we had a universal monitor that can also be installed in Toyota RAV4. A monitor with this kind of appearance can be used in Toyota Touch 1, Toyota Touch 2 and Toyota Intune systems, which we will discuss later. So, as usual, we connect the stock 28-pin connector with video RCA socket then the power. Toyota Touch 1 cable with video RCA socket will not be used in this case. We have a universal cable that is also able to unlock video in motion. If you need additional Toyota Touch 2 cables for rear view camera connection, you can purchase them on our website, just follow the link below this video. As you can see, the menu looks completely different. Although the area of the screen remains the same, 6.5 inches, the resolution has changed to 800 by 480. That's why a different menu screen was designed. Let's press the media button. As we can see, a small icon with AV next to it has appeared after the cable connection. Press the AV button and the video from the HD player appears. Video system settings have slightly changed. Let's check how to switch between PAL and NTSC. Two buttons appear in the bottom of the screen when it is touched. One of them allows to go back to the functions menu, the other is for settings. Press color coding and choose NTSC. Let's go back and, as you can observe, the video is normal now. The size of the video still needs to be changed in order to switch it to full screen mode. This can be done directly in the settings. Press Setup, go to Display, 
choose video, then video parameters. There are three options here. Default normal is 4x3, stretched is 16x9, and zoomed is 16x10. We choose the zoomed option, and as you can see, video is in full screen mode now. Let me get rid of this message right here. Toyota Touch 2 and Entune use only 28 pin cables. Everything is the same, the same functionality, audio and video output and the OEM monitor. Now let's check what will be changed if the OEM navigation system is connected to the Toyota Touch 2 monitor. So, our next example is Toyota Touch 2 monitor from a Toyota Yaris car with connected OEM navigation system. Same as before, let's connect the power and the 28-pin cable. The monitor is switched on. In the media menu, we can see that the AV icon has appeared again. However, in contrast to Toyota Touch 1, the menu of Toyota Touch 2 monitor does not change if the OEM navigation system is connected. The only thing that may change is speed with which the monitor turns on or time it takes to switch between functions. Increased functionality may sometimes slow down different processes. Everything is the same here. This is an option to switch between color coding. Go to settings and choose display. Then video and finally zoomed. As you can see, the video is in full screen mode now. Our last example is Toyota Entune. Let's check this system as well. This is Toyota Entune monitor. It is usually installed in American-made cars and sometimes in Asian cars as well. Let's switch on the ACC battery. Menu screen in those types of monitors is a little different. Everything is very simple here. There is an AV button right here. Black screen appears after choosing this option. This is exactly the same as in previous cases. We need to switch from PAL to NTSC first. The video is displayed in 4x3 format again. In the same manner, we switch to zoomed format. And the video is in full screen mode. Depending on the system and the connected OEM equipment, the menu screen may change. Actually, everything you have seen today is written in user manuals. We just wanted to make your life a little bit easier and demonstrate this in our video. In conclusion, we have shown you some new cable products that have appeared in our stock, namely cable for connecting video and audio equipment to Toyota and Touch 2 monitors in various cars, a cable to activate video input and to unlock video in motion, which also has a wire for rear view camera connection. And I have also mentioned a cable to connect rear view camera in Toyota Touch 2. If you have any further questions about these products or if you need any new videos, contact us via email, post your comments on our website using Discuss and like our videos. We really appreciate it. See you soon!